Hello, and welcome to my channel, The Purple Poncho. I'm Carolyn, and today I'm going to show you how to make the crunch stitch. This beautiful stitch is made using the half double crochet, the slip stitch, along with the easy chain stitch. For patterns on this, go to thepurpleponcho.com. Thank you for being here, and let's get crocheting. For this tutorial, I'll be using Red Heart with Love in the color Lettuce and my size H crochet hook. To begin, make a slip knot and place it on your hook. The stitch multiple is an even number and I'm going to start with a chain of 8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. To begin row 1, we're going to go back to the second chain from our hook. The loop on our hook does not count as a chain, so we count back one, two, place a slip stitch there, and a half double in the next stitch. Slip stitch in the next. Half double in the next. and repeat this across your chain. And my last stitch is going to be a slip stitch. So we begin with a slip stitch and we end with a slip stitch. Your next row is chain two and turn the chain two counts as our first stitch, our first half double crochet stitch for this stitch right there. So we're going to skip the first stitch. Going into the second, we're going to place a slip stitch. And then half double in the next. And I'm always going through both loops on the hook, or both loops of the stitch. and slip stitch in the next stitch. Half double in the next and slip stitch in the next. And I'm going to half double crochet in our last stitch. And that is row two. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so that is row two. Now row three, we're going to chain one, turn your work, and we're going to, and the chain one does not count as a stitch, so we're going to start by going through the very first stitch of the row and making a slip stitch. And I like to make it a little bit loose when I'm doing my slip stitches because we are working into those slip stitches on the next row. If you would like to place a stitch marker right here on that first slip stitch uh, to mark where you will be finishing your your row, sometimes it's easy to not see that stitch and your work might start to taper in if you're missing a stitch on the end. Okay, so I slip stitch and now half double in the next. Slip stitch in the next, and half double in the next. Slip, and now half double. And then on our last stitch of the row was a chain two here, one, two. So we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain two to end the round, or the row. So that is row three. So we started with a slip and we end with a slip. So the rows that we're going to be repeating is row row two and then row three for the remainder of the pattern. So slip and half double. We're placing a slip stitch in the previous row half double crochet and we're placing the half double 
in the previous row slip. Isn't that nice? This fabric is reversible. Both sides look the same. And let me show you a bigger sample that I have here. So here's a sample in the same color and you can really see that texture that it makes, those little loops from the half double crochets right here. That's what makes those pretty little ridges. Um, it's a thick fabric and, and fairly dense, not a lot of holes in it. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on the crunch stitch and learned a lot. Thank you for being here and crocheting with me today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website at thepurpleponcho.com for more crochet, knit, and Tunisian crochet patterns. Have a wonderful day.